Please remain standing. I am pleased to introduce Alyssa Marie Jordan, class of 2001, who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Well, thank you, Alyssa. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2001, I am pleased to open the 34th Annual and Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. We made it. Congratulations. Please have a seat. Everybody's dry. <laughs> Nothing, no rain could spoil this day. It's all liquid sunshine. Congratulations to the class of 2001. I will now introduce the members of the platform party and ask them to stand and be recognized. To my left, Mr. Robert Taylor, Bristol Community College's Distinguished Citizen Award recipient. <laughs> Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Vice Chair, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Trustee Wolfson will be filling in for our Board Chair, John Almeida, who unfortunately is ill and cannot be here with us today. Chairman Almeida sends his greetings to everyone and his warmest congratulations to the graduates. Sister Kathleen Harrington, member, Board of Trustees. <clears throat> Mr. David Feeney, Dean of Academic Affairs. To my right, Dr. Ruth Sherman, Dean of Continuing Education and Community Services. Mr. Arthur Paul, President, Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Dr. Richard Sobel, Dean of Administrative Services. Dr. Ken Kelly, Dean of Student Affairs. Second row to my left, Mr. Jules Reichebusch, Professor of English and Communications and Grand Marshal of the Academic Procession. Mr. Stephen Karam, Secretary, Board of Trustees. 
Dr. David S. Greer, member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Ms. Joanne Souza, member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Murray, member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Ms. Lynn Bernier, valedictorian and member of the class of 2001. Ms. Deneen Ehlertsen, student trustee and member of the class of 2001. Mr. Carl Cruz, member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Robert Bogan, member of the Board of Trustees. Third row to my left, Ms. Alone Vereira, retired professor of office administration. Dr. Goodwin Araguzo, Assistant Dean for Business and Information Management. <laughs> Dr. Karen Dixon, Assistant Dean for Developmental Education. <laughs> Ms. Rhonda Gabovich, Dean of Institutional Research, Planning and Assessment. <laughs> Ms. Maureen Sylvia, Dean of Resource Development. <laughs> Third row to my right, Mr. Gerald LePage, Assistant Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering. Mr. Raymond Lavertu, Assistant Dean for Behavioral and Social Sciences. Dr. Hope Burns, Assistant Dean for Health Sciences. Fourth row to my left, Dr. Raymond Butts, Retired Professor of Philosophy and English. Ms. Jean Grandchamp, Professor of English. Ms. Deborah Lawton, Assistant Dean for Language, Humanities, and the Arts. I would also like to introduce and thank our two American Sign Language interpreters, Ms. Sandra Ligrin and Mr. Russell Roth. I would now like to ask the faculty and professional staff to stand. If we could help, please recognize at this time the BCC faculty and professional staff whose fine teaching and support Thank you, Lynn. have made this commencement possible for the graduates. I would like now to pay special tribute to several members of the faculty and professional staff who have rendered many years of devoted service to Bristol Community College and are retiring this year. With 35 years of service, Jules Reichebusch, Professor of English and Communication. With 34 years of service, David Richardson, Professor of Mathematics. With 32 years of service, Diane Silveria, Professor of in Nursing. With 30 years of service, Edgar McGarvey, Professor of Social Science and Government. With 24 years of service, Professor Carolyn LaPointe, Professor of Nursing. I would also like to pay special tribute to our foundation. The Bristol Community College Foundation has provided the college and our students with extraordinary support and service since its creation in August of 1980. Since then, the foundation has succeeded in building assets valued at $4.5 million, while providing increasing support annually for scholarships, book loans, campus grants, for academic equipment, special projects, and capital funds for our new art gallery. This academic year alone, the foundation provided more than $102,000 in scholarship support for students. I'd like to ask all graduates who received the foundation scholarship at any time during their academic career here to please stand and be recognized.
On behalf of today's graduating Foundation scholars, the faculty and staff whose ability to serve our students is enhanced thanks to resources provided by the Foundation, it is now my pleasure to ask the members of the BCC Foundation Board of Directors who could be on hand with us today to stand and be acknowledged for all their hard work and invaluable support to the college. Foundation Directors. Members of the platform party, my colleagues on the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College, families and friends of the graduates, and especially members of the graduating class of 2001, congratulations. We are all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. You now form part of the intellectual great chain of being that has been forged through the ages. Last summer, when I arrived for my first year at BCC, you were entering your last year here. You and I shall always have that special bond of sharing what is a major milestone in each of our lives. Throughout your career here at BCC, you have found what I have found, namely that Bristol Community College is a premier learning institution, a place where students come first, full of people dedicated to student success. Consider this letter that I received from a woman who had dropped out of college, but then graduated from BCC. Tomorrow, she receives her baccalaureate with the highest honors and the number one ranking in her academic program. On the eve of this great personal moment, her thoughts turned to Bristol Community College. She wrote, I thought of that first class I attended. I thought of how much I had grown and achieved and how much I owed such a debt of gratitude to BCC. My teachers and professors treated me like I was something special, and I started to believe it. What a moving testimonial to this great institution. Is there a way to count how many other lives BCC has touched in similar pa fashion over the past 35 years? I hope that this will be your experience too, and I'm sure that you would want the opportunity to express similar, your similar sentiments to the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College who have played such a vital role in your success. You will be carrying them and BCC with you the rest of your life. Socrates wanted teachers to engage students' minds. He called this enlenhos, the Greek word for hook, as in fish hook. Socrates wanted teachers to hook a student's mind. But of course, different students require different hooks. I think that upon reflection, you will agree that your experience here at BCC has complied with the spirit of Socrates' intent. In countless ways, your outstanding teachers have endeavored to hook you, to engage you, and to assist your learning process. In addition, those of us outside of the classroom, virtual or otherwise, remain dedicated to your support of the, our support of you and student success. Your success means our success. I trust that your collective experiences have validated that overriding priority in the BCC mission. Certainly something else that you know all too well is that this process did not happen without great effort and sacrifice on your part. Whoever is to win the highest goal must first learn to bear a heavy burden. The 17th century Dutch philosopher Spinoza said, all things excellent are as difficult as they are rare. My friend Spinoza could well have been describing your path at BCC, culminating in this glorious moment. One of my favorite quotations emerges in the writings of philosopher Charles S. Peirce, who, for me, captures the essence of our difficult challenge in pursuit of knowledge as colleagues in learning. The idea, Peirce explained, is to pile the ground before the foot of the outworks of truth with the carcasses of this generation and perhaps others to come after it until some future generation, by treading on them, can storm the citadel. What a memorable legacy Peirce has left us concerning the frustration and the dedication and the sweet rewards of learning. Can you as students identify with his indelible imagery? How many times in your career at BCC did you feel frustrated and hopeless and lost and perhaps even ready to quit? 
but you stayed the course. And today, look at the overpowering result, the affirmation of all those dark moments linked with single-minded purpose. I have paid tribute to the faculty and staff here who have promoted your progress, but there is another group that deserves honor today, your family and friends. They have served also as colleagues in learning and providing an indispensable nourishing reservoir of support which helps sustain you through the personal, professional, and academic challenges that you encountered. I am sure that occasionally you tested the limits of their limitless support. I know you agree with me that today is a very appropriate time for you to express your gratitude. To those family members and friends, I want you to know that we too at BCC thank you for supporting our students. Please know that we consider you also to be members of the BCC family. There is yet another group that rejoices with you and for you, our community. Your education brings great value to our community. As an educated citizen able to make informed and ethical choices, you have an important role to play in this society, which is in such dire need for people to point the way and uphold our values. But in the end, you are the cause of our celebration. The ultimate responsibility was yours, and you succeeded admirably. We take great pride in your achievement. And if I can leave you with one thought, it is that your learning must continue throughout your life. The incredibly complex society, the global society in which we live makes ceaseless demands upon you. Lifelong learning must become a routine process in your lives. Eric Hoffer, the 20th century American social philosopher, pointed out that in times of change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. No matter what your current level of skill and competency, you must continue this lifelong quest, not only for the noble purpose described by Charles Peirce in assaulting the formidable citadel of truth, but also in more immediate terms concerning your ability to earn a living and to live a productive life. For the world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. You must keep up for your own good and for that of this society. This commencement day recognizes a great accomplishment. However, please remember that it also marks a great responsibility that you use your education to practice good citizenship, to promote the general welfare, and to work for social justice. Finally, there is another image that I should like to leave you with as you depart BCC and move into the future. Poet William Butler Yeats wrote, I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. As you move into that future, please carry our banner with great pride. We at BCC are very proud of you and your accomplishments. This great institution has prepared you, not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of knowledge itself the learning process, and an understanding of all that remains yet undone. As you move on from Bristol Community College, take with you that understanding and use all that you have been given to make this world a better place. Please know that we always stand ready to provide assistance to you. You have our best wishes and warmest congratulations. Thank you. Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate with honors, with high honors, or with highest honors. To achieve highest honors requires a minimum grade point average of at least 3.80 out of a possible 4.0. This year, a number of graduates have earned a perfect straight A 4.0 average. I would ask each of these 4.0 graduates to come forward to receive certificates of outstanding academic achievement. Are you <laughs> Janet Bentley. <laughs> Lynn Marie Barnier.
Susan Elizabeth Broadmellow. Carl Bougar. Deneen M. Ehlertsen. Patrice M. Ferguson. <laughs> Kenneth Scott Kelletier. <laughs> Jennifer A. Lavoy. <laughs> Margaret M. Leonade. Patricia A. Nadu. Karen L. Peckman. Gabriella Stadile. R. Robin Worthington. Congratulations to the 4.0 winner. One of those straight-A graduates uh, in liberal arts, Lynn Marie Bernier of Rochester, has been selected class valedictorian. Lynn is a wife and a mother, as well as a student. She has attended the college for three years, and during this time, her enthusiasm about education has influenced her husband, their children, and her parents to also take courses here. Her children attend our kids' college. Lynn will be attending Wellesley College in the fall. It is my pleasure to introduce the class valedictorian, Lynn Marie Bernier. Thank you, President Sprague. Well, we're finally here, and I'm so proud of the accomplishments of all of us at BCC and I am honored to represent our class as valedictorian. Before I begin, I need to thank a few people without whose support my goals and achievements would look very different than they do today. First, I need to thank my husband, John, for helping me put things into perspective when the job of trying to balance life as a wife, a mother, and a student became too overwhelming to me. For being there to congratulate me when I did well, and help me pick myself up when I did not. I cannot express how important his love and support have been to my success. I also need to thank my parents and my in-laws for making such an enormous commitment to care for my children so that I could not only attend classes, but could also become involved as a tutor at the college, as well as join the Commonwealth Honors Pro Program. These experiences have been some of the most rewarding experiences that I have had here. Finally, I need to thank my children, who through their curiosity and love of learning have helped me recognize and appreciate my own love of learning. Well, I'd like to start by doing something that I've seen many of the students doing in the past few weeks, besides crying, and that is thanking the faculty and staff for the remarkable job that they have done in getting all of us where we are today. You have made such a difference in our lives in so many ways. You are not only our teachers, but you are our mentors, our role models, and our friends. And although we are sad to say goodbye, we feel fortunate for the experiences that we have shared with you and we will remember you as we share these experiences with others. Your encouragement and support have helped many of us surpass our own expectations of what we thought we could accomplish in our lives. As a result, we are now ready to make a difference in the world. And as we do this, let us not forget to tell people about the exceptional faculty and staff at the college, about the positive atmosphere that they have helped to create 
and about the strong bond between students, faculty, and staff that they encourage and support. Now, in order to appreciate the experiences we have had at BCC, we need to reflect on them. And it was by reflecting and making connections with some of my experiences that helped me gain the courage that I would need to stand up in front of you today. You see, my first class at BCC was an English writing course. And one day, after I had read my paper to the class, and we were able to sit in our seats and read them, the teacher said to me, it really bothers you to speak in front of people, doesn't it? Well, there were only about 10 people in that class, so it's not surprising that when I received the letter asking if I would like to apply to be valedictorian, I looked at the letter, saw that I would have to speak in front of 2,000 people, and said to myself, there is absolutely no way that I am doing this. And then I threw the letter up on my shelf. I didn't give it much thought after that. But then I read an essay from an outstanding student at PCC, a remarkable woman who has shown a remarkable woman who has shown tremendous courage and who I am fortunate to have in my life. You see, that student, that woman is my mother. The essay she had written was for an English writing course, and she had to write about pride. The essay she wrote was about how proud she was of me. And the last thing she said in her essay was that my father and she hoped, if I was given the honor of valedictorian, that I would accept it. It was kind of hard to say no after that. Well, I started to think back at all my mother had accomplished at BCC, and I thought about the first course that we took together a year ago. Although she agreed to take the course with me, she said that she would not take the exams because she felt that she would not do well. My response was simple. I said to her, you can do it, Mom. I know you can. Well, she did take the test, and she did well. Then I encouraged her to take an English class, and she said to me, but I can't write college essays. And again, I said to her, Yes, you can, Mom, just try. Well, she did try, and again, she did well. Then it struck me that my mother had provided me with an outstanding role model of a courageous person, herself. Our situations may be different, but our fear and anxiety are the same. And it was by reflecting on both my experience and my mother's, and by making this connection, that I am standing in front of you today. Reflecting and making connections is also very important in the process of learning, because by doing this, we are able to move away from what the Brazilian philosopher Paulo Freire calls the banking model of education, where teachers would just make deposits of knowledge into us, and we would just have to memorize it, and then we could say that we learned it. When we are able to reflect and make connections with what we have learned at BCC, we move from inaction to action. And let me explain what I mean by this. After reflecting on two literature courses that I took here, I made a connection to what I was reading to my two sons, John, who is nine, and Christopher, who is five. I realized that although Dr. Seuss and Winnie the Pooh are wonderful children's books, I also needed to be reading them other types of literature as well, like poetry by Emily Dickinson or Robert Frost, or stories about other cultures, such as Japanese stories for children, or Shante to Sulu, a book about African traditions. And during my second semester of Spanish, I decided that I would start to teach it to my children. As a result, they now have a pretty good Spanish vocabulary and are signed up to take Spanish this summer in the Kids College program at BCC. So today, I would like to challenge all of us to take some time to reflect and make connections with our experiences at BCC and the knowledge that we have gained here. My hope is that by doing this, we will extend ourselves from human beings to human doings. We will begin to I'm sorry, we will begin to make connections between how the knowledge we have gained here 
can impact our lives and the lives of others. We can begin to think of ourselves not just in terms of who we are or what we have become, but in terms of what we do. And I'd like to give you an example of this. I used to think that I wanted to be a teacher, but during an independent study that I did with Dr. Weisberger, the coordinator of tutoring at the college, the words being a teacher began to seem too restrictive, and I decided to say that I wanted to teach instead. But I didn't really understand what the difference was until we discussed it. You see, being a teacher brought up images in my mind of a classroom environment with students. But by saying that I wanted to teach, I expanded not only what I could teach, but who I could teach as well. I could teach students a particular subject area, but I could also teach my children academic material, as well as teach them about good manners. I could teach people in my community and throughout the world. And most importantly, I could reflect on all these experiences and teach myself as well. And best of all, this type of thinking applies to all areas of learning. Let us think for a moment what would happen if graduates from the business or computer programs at BCC shared their knowledge about marketing concepts or about how to access information on the internet. Then let us suppose that as a result of this new information, people in the community started reading about financial management and about the stock market. Or suppose they started to access their community's websites and became more aware of the political, social, and economic changes that are occurring in their community and throughout the world. Now, think about what would happen if some of these people decided they wanted to get involved in their community. Think of the greater impact this type of thinking can have on the world. With knowledge comes power, the power to challenge what exists, the power to work with others to find solutions, the power to change the world we live in and make it a better place for all of us. Our journey has just begun, and by reflecting and making meaning of our experiences and sharing our knowledge with others, we can attempt to reach what Abraham Maslow, a humanistic psychologist, describes as self-actualization, or our highest potential as human beings. So in closing, I would like to say that my hopes and dreams for our graduating class will be that not only do we go out and reach our goals of becoming what we have always dreamed about, but that we make a difference each day in the lives of others by what we choose to do every minute of every day, and that we never forget to give thanks for the wonderful people who have touched our lives. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Lynn. During the past year, Bristol Community College instituted the BCC Honors Program. The following students have met all of the graduation requirements of the Honors Program. Will, receive, will each receive a recognition award and are recognized today as the first class of Bristol Community College's Honor Program Scholars. Will these graduates please stand and remain standing as your name is called? Amy Arbeck, Human Services, a Kushnet. Lynn Bernier, Liberal Arts, Rochester. Susan Broadmeadow, Liberal Arts, Seekonk. Patricia Nadu, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. Susan Oliveira, Human Services, South Dartmouth. Erica Payer, Elementary Education, New Bedford. Susan Claude, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. Clifford Russell, General Studies, New Bedford. Ronald Santos, Business Administration Career, Tiverton. Sandra Sousa, Business Administration Transfer, Taunton. R. Robin Worthington, Liberal Arts, Swansea. Please recognize the achievements of our honors students.
Thank you. The 16th annual Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Edward Terrell Smith, son of Edward and Mabel Smith, and a 1982 graduate of Bristol Community College. It is given each year to a graduating student of high personal integrity and academic standing who has planned to continue his or her education at another college. Bristol Community College is proud to present this scholarship to Philip Dixon, engineering transfer from Mattapoisett. He will be transferring to the University of Massachusetts. Philip, congratulations. I'm also very pleased to announce the award of a number of transfer merit scholarships from a number of area colleges and universities. As I read the name of each scholarship recipient, would you please stand to be recognized? The University of Massachusetts Boston announces the award of the Foster Furcolo Scholarship, full tuition and fees, to Amy Lynn Medeiros, Business Administration Transfer from Somerset. The UMass Scholars Program Scholarship, full tuition and fees to any, UMass, you know, any campus of the University of Massachusetts has been awarded to Deneen Ehlertson, Liberal Arts from Fairhaven. <laughs> Deneen has chosen to attend UMass Dartmouth. The University of Massachusetts Amherst announces the award of a $2,500 per year scholarship to Philip Dixon, engineering transfer from Mattapoisa. <laughs> the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth announces the award of 10 $2,000 per, per year scholarships to the following graduates. Susan Broadmeadow, liberal arts from Seacon. Lisa Chan, liberal arts from New Bedford. Patrice Ferguson, elementary education from New Bedford. Allison Garbett, Business Administration Transfer from New Bedford. Lynn LaBerge, Art Transfer from New Bedford. Peter Neva, Business Administration Transfer from Swansea. Erica Payer, Elementary Education from New Bedford. Susan Plaud, Liberal Arts from New Bedford. Pedro Reyes, Liberal Arts from Fairhaven. Sandra Souza, Business Administration Transfer from Taunton. Congratulations. Bridgewater State College announces the award of a presidential scholarship which covers full tuition and fees to Isabel Michaels, Elementary Education from Fall River. Bryant College announces the award of one $7,000 per year transfer dean scholarship and $1,000 partnership award to the following graduate. Stephen Barboza, Computer Information System from Fall River. <laughs> Bryant College also announces the award of two $3,000 per year transfer dean scholarships to the following graduates. Michelle Fortier, Business Administration Transfer from Fall River. And Jonathan Soares, Business Administration Transfer from Fall River. Roger Williams University announces the award of two scholarships. One $7,000 Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship has been awarded to Timothy Kearns, Criminal Justice from Swansea. One $6,000 presidential scholarship has been awarded to Eric Brocklehurst, Liberal Arts from Bristol. 
The New England Transfer Association announces two $1,000 scholarships to Deneen Ehlertson, Liberal Arts from Fairhaven. <laughs> Philip Dixon, Engineering Transfer from Mattapasset. The following students are BCC's nominees to the All-USA Academic Team, and each receives a $500 scholarship funded by the BCC Foundation. Deneen Ehlertson, Liberal Arts from Fairhaven. You can stay standing. <laughs> Patrice Ferguson, Elementary Education from New Bedford. If there are other graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships to other colleges and universities, would you please stand to be recognized as we want to offer our congratulations. And thank you to all of our winners. Congratulations. Okay, how are we doing? Everybody still dry? The tent's still hanging in there? Professor Emeriti, this year we are honoring two of our outstanding former faculty members, Raymond Butts and Elone Vieira, by designating them Professors Emeriti. These individuals are selected for this honor by faculty peers. This is an honorary title which corresponds to the position last held during active service. It comes from the Latin, marire, to merit, and is in recognition of meritorious service. I am pleased to introduce Jean Grandchamp, Professor of English, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus Raymond Butts. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Raymond Butts, Professor Emeritus of Philosophy and English. A true lifelong learner with a deep commitment to critical thinking, you pursued the disciplines of philosophy and English with a gentlemanly passion and sunny goodwill. Debate and challenge characterized your classes where students could wrestle with timeless and timely issues under your zestful counsel. Your belief in the power of education led you to create portals for disadvantaged and underprepared students that grew from mere experiments to one of the best centers for the developmental education in the state. In the classroom, your dedication to multidisciplinary studies and to high standards, combined with your personal interest in each student's progress, gave those under your tutelage the means to succeed in college and in life. Bristol Community College, June 2nd, 2001. Thank you. <laughs> no wonder, thanks a million. I guess we got something. Jack, Jack puts it down. Thank you very much. Better take this off, huh? Thank you. Thank you. I am pleased to announce Dr. Godwin Araguzzo, Assistant to Dean for Business and Information Management, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita Elone Vieira. Elon Vieira, Professor Emerita of Office Administration. Enthusiastic, animated, and vigorous, you demanded the very best of your students and generously guided them toward achieving their goals. A leader and innovator, you stayed ahead of technological trends in your field. With a focused yet cheerful determination, you pursued all that was necessary to incorporate state-of-the-art innovations into the curriculum. Thanks to your spirited 
and resolute efforts, Bristol Com Community College remains in the leading edge of administrative professional education. Energetic and dynamic, you are an educator devoted to students and a professor who inspired ordinary people to achieve extraordinary things. Bristol Community College, June 2nd, 2001. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mr. Richard Wolfson, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2001 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Mr. Wilson. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the Board has selected Robert J. Taylor, biology teacher at Durfee High School in Fall River. Mr. Taylor, please come forward. The citation reads as follows. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustee hereby names Robert J. Taylor, the distinguished citizen for 2001. For more than 26 years, teaching has been your passion and your calling. As a member of the science department at Durfee High School, you teach biology and life science, coaching your students as they explore life and its many mysteries. A popular and challenging instructor, you imbue in your students the love of learning, and you school them in the discipline of learning for learning's sake. Through your dedication and commitment to their education, you prepare your students for the rigors of college and of life. Your example and your own dynamic energies have led many to choose careers in the sciences. As a member of one of our society's most important professions, you embrace a duty to mold, to direct, and to challenge those who will shape our world. In your life and in your career, you have touched the future and given us hope for its brilliance. Given the second day of June 2001 at Fall River, Massachusetts, Signed, John J. Sprague, President, and John Almeida, Chair, Board of Trustees. Thank you very much for this award. I accept this on behalf of all teachers at all levels of education who have committed themselves to this profession for the long term and still love what they do. But to be brief, graduates, I would first like to congratulate you, and I mean it. After all, where would a teacher like me be without students like you? This is your day. Be proud of yourself. It is not easy to accomplish what you have accomplished. However, remember to be lifelong learners. Realize that this is only the beginning of your education. But enjoy yourself today. Go to your graduation parties. Be elated by your achievement and stay dry. Thank you.
The President's Award, known as the Mason Shield, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The selection is made by the Honors Committee, consisting of faculty, staff, and students. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. The plaque is inscribed as follows. Mason Shield Award, leadership and character, honor and integrity, awarded by the college president to an outstanding student as voted by members of the college community. I am pleased to present the President's Award, my first President's Award, to R. Robin Worthington, Liberal Arts from Swansea. Alumni Association President, today as you graduate from Bristol Community College, you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Here to welcome you as full members of the association is Arthur Paul, class of 1992, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Mr. Paul. I am pleased to welcome you, the graduates of Bristol Community College, class of 2001, as the newest members of the Alumni Association. On behalf of the more than 20,000 members of the Alumni Association, we offer you our sincere congratulations and wish you well with all your future endeavors. As you celebrate this special day and your achievements, let it be a time of reflection on your years at Bristol Community College, as well as on your hopes and aspirations for the future. I urge you to stay connected to your alma mater by participating in alumni programs and events and by encouraging others to attend Bristol Community College. And of course, let us know how you're doing both professionally and personally, so we can include you in your newsletter, the BCC Briefings. The Alumni Association's mission is to provide information and service to our alumni through educational, social, cultural, and networking activities. I hope you take advantage of these, and you can start today by visiting the Grimshaw Goodowitz Art Gallery to view the Alumni Association Art Exhibit. This display is on display all month, and the gallery is located directly behind us. As alumni, you are the greatest ambassadors the college has. Please join us in working together to assure that the future of BCC remains bright. In closing, I again offer you my heartfelt congratulations on your graduation, and I welcome you to the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student trustee, Janine Ailiston, who will share the results of the class of 2001's first fundraising activity held this spring. On behalf of the class of 2001, I would like to express a special thank you to everyone who donated to our class gift. We raised $525. This money will be used to plant a tree and a garden area adjacent to the Commonwealth College Center. 
the everlasting garden area will serve to beautify BCC campus and is dedicated to Dr. John Sprague in honor of his first year as president at Bristol Community College and his quest for student success. Thank you. Thank you, what a wonderful honor for the first year here. I now present Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees to authorize the conferral of degrees. Graduation speakers are prone to discuss choices that graduates must make when they graduate. I can only say that the very fact that you and your classmates are about to be recognized for your accomplishments indicates that you have already made excellent choices. You have enhanced your knowledge and your skills to better equip yourselves for your careers or for further studies. And on behalf of all the trustees, I salute your accomplishments and I wish you well for the future. As Vice Chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers vested in the board by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associate in Arts and the Associate in Science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who in the judgment of the college have successfully met the requirements for graduation. And now, Dean of Academic Affairs, David Feeney, will present the candidates. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees today have completed all the requirements for each degree or certificate as set forth by the college and the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dean Fanny. It is now time to award the degree. Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage. The rest of the candidates may be seated. Gra gra graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. Will those taking photographs please move clear from the front of the stage as quickly as possible to keep the area clear. Please withhold your applause until all degrees and certificates have been awarded. I am pleased to present, to announce the graduates of Art Transfer, Lori A. Allen. John Benoit. Sean M. De Oliveira. Aradith Linda Panacea. Nicole B. Wimet. Germana Rodericks. Stephanie Nadine. Susan Reese Vieira, also graphic design certificate. Lori A. Avery. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Career. 
Jennifer L. Bernard with honors. Richard L. Branco with high honors. Jennifer Patricia Cassidy with honors. Cindy M. Corroa. Chris Correa. Lena Fernando. Anthony J. Ferreira. Valerie Corliss Footman with honors. Dorothy P. Francis with honors. Corrine Harris. Roberta Jane Keeping. Paul LaChapelle with honors. Ryan Mark Leet. Karen A. Noons with highest honors. Felicia Pacheco. Jody Catherine Ferreira with honors. Karen L. Peckman with highest honors. Linda Marie Sakel with highest honors. Jessica Lynn Santos. Ronald Gilbert Santos with high honors. Craig Scott. Paula M. Tevs. Mary Ann Vaughn with high honors. Vivian C. Wilson with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Transfer, Lisa Marie Bravo. Catherine M. Curran. Suzanne DaCosta. Kelly A. Ferreira, Michelle Lynn Fortier with honors, Walter Freitas, Allison May Garbett with high honors, Osmana Gonzalez. Rebecca Ann Hargreaves. Arthur A. Joachim. Amy Lynn Medeiros with high honors. Jennifer G. Mendes. Wendy Jean Messelin with high honors. Peter R. Never with high honors. Stephanie R. Oliveira with high honors. Francisco J. Pacheco with honors. Rita B. Raposo. Michael J. Santos. Jonathan Soares with high honors. Sandra Lee Souza with highest honors. Paul Elliott St. Laurent with high honors. Michelle Topoluski with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of child care. Cynthia M. Amaral with high honors. Brooke L. Joseph with high honors. Melissa K. Eggersham Chase. Robin Marie Stokely. I am pleased to announce the graduates of communication. Jean Pierre Lafleur with honors. 
Josephine A. Silva with high honors. Christopher A. Taylor with honors. Delilah Silva Vargas with honors. Holly S. Berg, also electronic multimedia certificate. I am pleased to announce the graduates in computer information systems. Carl S. Buguero with highest honors. Justin S. Cavero. Elizabeth A. Dilseveria with honors. Barbara A. Dalton with highest honors. Michael James D. Medeiros with high honors. Tessie Farias with highest honors. Damon N. Gatenby. Joseph Grotta with honors. Brian S. Holman. Anne Marie Medeiros. Glenn Medeiros. Kina M. Mello with honors. Bassam Nessam. Jennifer L. Paiva. Gabriella Stadale with highest honors. Edward Thomas Tarrant, Jr. Holly M. Anderson. I am pleased to announce the graduates of criminal justice. Vicki Milagros Bagu. Julio R. Barbozo. Paul Bernier with highest honors. Kevin Benuto with high honors. Melissa Lynn Cathcart. Angel M. Codero. Christina DuPont. Nicholas Davidson. Matthew Joseph Donovan with honors. Brian Faria. Eric F. French with highest honors. Lynn M. Furtado. Wendy A. Furtado with honors. David O. Helmerson with honors. George H. Lafleur with honors. Lisa Ann Lafleur with high honors. Stacy Lamontagne. Jacob Aaron Moss with honors. George Novo. Brian Edward Pacheco with high honors. Ricardo George Pavo. June M. Reedy with honors. Eric Scott Rich with honors. Robert D. Schoonover with high honors. Robert Richard St. Dennis with high honors. Lisa A. Thatcher. Nicholas P. Terese. I am pleased to announce the graduates of dental hygiene, Christina E. Andre, Shannon H. Dolan, 
Lisa Ann Eugenio with highest honors. <laughs> Melissa Gendro. Kimberly A. Martins. Diane M. Pereira with honors. Alice C. Ribeiro. Rebecca Ann Souza. Robin Marie Sykes with highest honors. Pei Win Yen with high honors. I am pleased to announce the gra graduates of early childhood education. Kristen J. Gabral with honors. Stephanie Copley with high honors. Margaret Lyonace with highest honors. Susan Mello with high honors. Deanna Francis Nunes Mello with honors. Shannon Lee Racine. Jane E. Santos with honors. Holly L. Takes with honors. Rebecca H. Wood with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Electronic Engineering. Robert P. Gagnon with honors. Thomas J. Gonnett. Robert E. Parent, also Electronic Engineering Technology. Stephen J. Pike with high honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education. Cindy Arujo with highest honors. S Cynthia Ann Banville. Elizabeth Gabral. Christine M. Sirkara with honors. Daniel Robert Chagon, also American Sign Language. Courtney Lynn Ellis. Katie Ann Farrier. Linda M. Ferreira with highest honors. Paulette L. Forcier with honors. Kimberly Gendro with high honors. Michael M. Gonzalez. Warren J. Joubert with highest honors. Katie Elizabeth Koska with highest honors. Patrice M. Ferguson with highest honors. Jennifer A. Lavoy with highest honors. Michelle Elizabeth McGowan with honors. Janice L. Medeiros. Marissa Ann Medeiros. Isabel B. Michaels with highest honors. Sybil Jean Pacheco. Jennifer Lynn A. Pieroni with honors. Elizabeth Pimentel. Brandy Lee Rivera. Jacob Rowland. Velvet A. Silva Tappan with honors. 
Liza Marie Souza with honors. Shana Marie Souza. Linda A. Tob Tobia. Tabitha Morgan White with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Technology, Louis Almeida, Marisa C. Boulay, Rebecca A. Camara with honors, David Arthur Cockshaw with highest honors, Paul Roy Gonzales. Dustin Thomas Gorman with highest honors. Richard J. LaRivier. John F. Lezik with honors. Kenneth Scott Kelletier with highest honors. Carlos A. Maddows. Donald A. Smith with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Technology, Phillips James Dixon with high honors. Engineering transfer, excuse me. Isilda Camoso with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Environmental si uh, Science, Carla Christina Louise Field with highest honors, Shelley A. Mendes McAllister with high honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Fire Science Technology, William A. Arnold with honors. David Joseph Cooper with highest honors. Richard Greg Emond with high honors. Scott Matthew Kruger with high honors. Elsino M. Marx with honors. Anthony John Poenti Jr. with high honors. Ronald Savigny Jr. with high honors. Richard Paul Vigian. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Studies, Kerry A. Banville with high honors. Monica I. Gabral with honors. Zenaid P. Carrero. Jennifer Cawley with highest honors. Lorianne C. Dawson. Genevieve A. Fernandez. Elizabeth Farias. Barbara M. Sylvia Mendonca with honors. Charles E. Fisher, John John H. Francis, Tammy M. Dussault, Linda A. Gowdy with highest honors. David Allen Gerard with high honors. Elizabeth Lido. Benjamin David Miller. Kelly Olila. Ingrid Christina Pearson. 
Lisa Marie Piazzolo with high honors. Sandra M. Pinheiro with honors. Jill Lee Ramos with honors. Carolyn Truslo Reese with highest honors. Carolyn Joyce Remy with honors. Clifford F. Russell with honors. Marie J. Santos with honors. Christopher M. Schnoor. Sun Lee Tang with honors. Philip A. Mello. Herman Medeiros. Ethan Saul Lord. Kenneth Lau with high honors. <laughs> Lam Janet Yon Yi with high honors. Virginia M. Jakes with high honors. Linda A. Hickney. Michelle Jacqueline Josephek. Christina G. Gregory. Garrett George Gomes. Denise M. Gluchaki with honors. Nicole M. Goslin with honors. Jennifer Lavelle with high honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Healthcare Information. Carol A. Campbell with high honors. Karen Lynn Souza. Nicole Marie Steele. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Human Service, Michelle A. Butcher, Betty Camara, Joan M. Cavallo with honors, Jennifer Lynn Crosley, Joanna Dos Santos with high honors, John Serfino Gomes with honors. Dorothea Hefner. Susan Melissa Hicks. Maritza Irizari. Bettina Cooley Levine with honors. Amber D. Menard. Tracy Mentavlos with honors. Tammy Lee Montero with high honors. Amanda S. Moore with high honors. Susan Ann Oliveira with high honors. Sandy Pereira, Donna Marie H. Pinot, Lee Ann Guatachi, Carla E. Simcock, Susan Soares with high honors, Carol J. Tuggle, Lisa M. Wisniewski, 
I am pleased to announce the graduates of liberal arts, Jerusha Ann Bosco. Angela Boulay. Susan Elizabeth Broadmeadow with highest honors. Lynn Marie Bernier with highest honors. Sarah A. Catton with highest honors. Deneen M. Ehlertson with highest honors. Lisa M. Chan with highest honors. Christy L. Costa. Thomas J. Corshane with honors. Jessica L. DeMio. Paul S. Dias. Diana Gaia. Cheryl A. Gonzalez. Zolia Lagarde with high honors. Patrick J. Lupke. Jared R. Lyman. Judy Macedo with honors. Desiree McClure with honors. Lisa Mello with honors. Patricia A. Nadu with highest honors. Eric Joseph Pavo with high honors. Susan Ingrid Plowd with highest honors. Shauna Marie Proc. Nicole Marie Rigo. Adam M. Reed. Susan Elizabeth Riley with honors. Julie Robinson with high honors. Daniela R. Roscova with honors. Christine Samero with honors. Erica Lee Sariva Lino with honors. Michael J. Snow with honors. Samuel Antonio Soto. Jenny Lynn St. Pierre with honors. Marcio Philip Souza Tavares. Katie A. Turner with high honors. Lori Lynn Vallette. Lisa Vassal. Beth A. Vicina with high honors. Ah Robin Worthington with highest honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Mechanical Engineering Technology, Roxanne D. Pelletier. I am pleased to announce the graduates of nursing, Michelle Barboza with honors. Scott H. Belval. Donna Jean Berabee. Gina M. Camara with honors. Deidre Ann Conlin with honors. Corinne DeJesus with high honors. Jonina Fahey with honors. Renee M. LaFleur. 
Wendy Ann Leonardo. Kerry Sue Mazzapolo. Pamela Jean McDuffie. Nancy A. Medeiros. Kim M. Pina. Janine I. Prodigliadad. Joanne M. Rabello with honors. Christy Rabello. Louise Marie Rabello with honors. Irene M. T. Rigo with high honors. Sandra P. Ricardo with highest honors. Jennifer M. Silva with honors. Lori Ann Stirrup. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Occupational Therapy Assistant, Elizabeth M. Asad. Julie A. Bebo with high honors. Janet E. Bentley with highest honors. Suzanne Y. Bernard. Stephanie L. Costa with high honors. John Ann Forand with highest honors. Jessica Sue Holefka. Linda L. Levesque with high honors. Shelley A. McCann with highest honors. Bethany J. O'Neill with honors. Michael Robert Parent. Kelly L. Rigo. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Administration, Dorian Ayala, with honors. Heather J. Baptista, with honors. Stacy Gabral, with highest honors. Diane Carrero. Amy Beth Cavara. Amy Levesque. Christine Martins. Lindsay Medeiros. Stacy Lynn Medeiros. Andrea Pacheco. Amanda Croca Rylanda. Anna M. Santiago Melendez. Siam Shrey. Sylvia C. Tavares with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of pre-professional, Phoebe McKenzie with highest honors. Sandra Patricia Santos. Maria D. Soares. I am pleased to announce the graduates of theater, Alyssa Jordan with honors. I am pleased to announce the graduates of American Sign Language Certificate, Elizabeth M. Aruda, Madeline M. Auger. And I am pleased to announce the graduates of Culinary Arts Certificate, Michael G. Mondanza. 
Also in sign language, Sheila Ann Paradis. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Instructional Aid Certificate, Mary R. Aruda. Abigail Montanez. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Assistant Certificate, Jessica Borges. Christine Ann Bugara. Nancy G. DeMedeiros. Jennifer M. Lopes. Marlene F. Macedo. Michelle Texera. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Coding Certificate, Crystal Gale Chase. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Office Certificate, Maria T. Fernandes. Sonia Ponte. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Transcription Certificate, Valerie Ann Trainer. Crystal Lee Dutra. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Technology Certificate, Shalene Sarah Nail. Gail M. Salve. Fern Souza. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Small Business Certificate, Geraldine Shuttlebrand. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Thanatology Certificate, Linda Slack Collins. Susan M. Afonso. Christopher S. Olson. Tracy Ann Pereira. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Therapeutic Massage Certificate, Robin M. Costa. Melissa Giordano. Madeline C. Gregory. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Tourism and Hospitality Certificate, Catherine Howell. Karen M. Monroe. Sean P. Monroe. And Jennifer Jamie Soares. Congratulations to the class of 2001. Congratulations. I would like to take this time to honor the families of the graduates for the support that they have given to the graduates. Would the graduates please rise and give recognition to their families and friends who supported them. And while you're standing, I'd like also to ask the faculty once again to stand so you could recognize the faculty for the great work, the outstanding faculty that we have at Bristol Community College. Well, how are we doing? Okay, everybody dry? 
I think we got this 10 from the low bidder. But, <laughs> but it's more money for instructional support, so look on the good side. Before we have the recessional, I invite you to join us at a reception at the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. Graduates may pick up their diplomas in person at the College Center cafeteria. Please be careful as you uh, exit the tent and also, of course, outside. Please remain standing until the recessional is complete and all graduates have left the tent. I now declare these 34th annual commencement exercises of Bristol Community College to be concluded.
Thank you. 